everyone, my name is Christy and I'll be leading you through a 60 minute vinyasa flow. As always, remember to follow your breath, your body, whatever you need out of today's practice. I'm just here as your guide. So let's go ahead and begin. We're just going to start in a comfortable seated position, whatever that means for you. You can rest your palms facing up on your knees, ready to receive what your practice holds for you today. I also invite you to close your eyes if that feels comfortable. Just take the first few minutes of class to both physically and mentally arrive on our mat. Begin to notice your breath. How does it feel today? Begin to notice your inhales and your exhales. Sending the breath throughout the body, paying close attention to anywhere that might feel sticky or stuck. If you closed your eyes, begin to blink them open. To begin, let's drop our left ear to our left shoulder, breathing in through the right side of our neck. You can stay here or Gently take your left hand over your right ear. Right hand can come out of it. And just breathe. Come back to center. Drop your right ear to your right shoulder. Again, stay here or your right hand can come over to your left ear. Left hand can reach out a bit. Back to center, drop your chin to your chest, stay here, or clasp your hands behind your head, elbows come in, just a little extra. Inhale back to neutral, inhale arms sweep up. Exhale, twist to your left, left arm behind you, right hand to your right knee. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist. Nice and gentle to begin our practice. Inhale, your arms back through center, and exhale to the other side. Right arm comes behind you, left hand to your left knee. Inhale back to center, plant your hands, cross over your legs coming into your tabletop position. Shoulders step over wrists, hips step over knees. Let's just begin our cat cow. Inhale, drop your belly, lift your gaze. Exhale, round your back, chin tucks in. Just move through some cat cows on your own breath, on your own time, taking any other organic movements you need, looking over each shoulder, swaying your hips. We're just beginning to come into the body and seeing how it feels today. Whatever you're doing, take two more rounds of breath. Come back to your neutral tabletop. 
Inhale your right arm to the sky. Exhale, thread it through. Right ear comes to the mat. Your hand can stay right where it is, or your left hand can reach out long in front of you. Or you can even take a half bind behind your back. There's always options in every pose. Left hand plants, right arm reaches back up to the sky. Right hand plants, take one round, cat cow. Come back to neutral. Inhale, left arm to the sky, and then left arm threads through. Same options apply, right hand can stay where it is. It can reach long in front of you, or even bind behind your back. Starting to open up through our shoulders a bit. Right hand plants. Inhale your left arm back up to the sky. Left hand plants. One final round. Cat cow. Come back to neutral spine. Tuck your toes. Downward facing dog. First down dog of the day. So Take a moment to set it up, see how it feels. Get any fidgets or movements out you need. Press firmly through all 10 fingers. Fingers are spread wide. Sits bones towards the sky. Heels energetically press towards the mat. They don't have to touch. You can have as much bend in the knees as you need. Inhale to your tippy toes. Exhale, bend your right knee. Press your left heel towards the mat. Inhale back to center. Tippy toes, left knee bends. Right heel towards the earth. Come back to center on your tippy toes, and both heels drop. Breathe in your down dog. Look to your hands, rise to your tippy toes, take teeny tiny steps to the top of the mat, feet about your distance apart when you land. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, fold. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back, and forward fold. Inhale, rise, extend a mountain, hands above your head. Bring them into heart center. Close your eyes here for a moment, and if you'd like to set an intention for class, feel free to do so here. And seal it in with a breath. Back open your eyes, inhale, arms up, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, step back, downward facing dog. Inhale to our first high plank of the day. Drop your knees, lower all the way down to the mat. Inhale, low cobra, exhale, release. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, low cobra. Exhale, release. Press back through your tabletop. Tuck your toes. Downward facing dog. Look to the top of the mat. Step your right foot forward, followed by your left. Inhale, halfway. Forward fold. Rise up and give it away. Forward fold. Halfway lift. Step back, downward facing dog. Inhale to your high plank. This time lower all the way down to the mat. One cobra. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Press back, neutral tabletop. Tuck your toes, downward facing dog. Look to the top of the mat. This time step, step your left foot forward, followed by your right. Halfway lift, fold. Rise, 
high mountain, fold, halfway lift. This time step back to your high plank. And if you're ready for it, take your chaturanga to up dog or cobra, downward facing dog. Any type of vinyasa is called, feel free to modify or skip it. It's up to you. Let's do one more sun egg. Look to the top of the mat, step hop float, make your way. Inhale, halfway lift, forward fold. Rise up, give it away. Halfway lift, high plank, chaturanga, up dog, down dog. Right leg lift to the sky, bend, open your hip, circle your ankle one way and then the other. Straighten your right leg, step it through, left knee plants, rise, low lunge. Right, feel this in the front of your left hip and sink into it a bit. Sink it open arm twist, right arm back, left arm forward, gaze to your right thumb. Inhale back to center, hands plant, shift your weight back, coming into your half split. Right toes are flexed, heels pressing down into the mat, kind of dragging it in almost. You can stay here or you can flare your toes out to the inside or the outside, kind of coming into that sweet spot on your hamstring. And breathe. Plant your left foot, toe heel it out to the side of your mat. Your hands are going to be to the inside of your right foot, sitting up for our lizard pose. You can always scoot your left leg back if you need to a little bit. You can stay right here. We have lots of options in lizards. Or you can come down to your forearms. You can even roll the knife edge of your right foot, whatever feels good here. Coming into our hips, opening them up, and all the sitting we do all day. Take two more rounds of breath here. Made your way onto your elbows, straighten your arms, toe heel your foot back to center, left hand will stay planted, pop up off your left knee, right arm to the sky for our runner's lunge twist. Gaze is up at your right hand if it feels okay for your neck. Right hand plants, step back, downward facing dog. You can stay here or take your vinyasa flow. Inhale to high plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Up dog. And downward facing dog. Take a round of breath here in your down dog. Then left leg lifts to the sky. Bend open. Roll your ankle one way a few times and then the other. Straighten your left leg, step it through, right knee plants, rise, low lunge. See how it feels on this side, noticing any differences. Shoulders out of our ears, so if you need to practice your arms, feel free. Your hands can even stay on your knee, whatever feels good here. Hands plant, take that shift back, coming into half splits. Again, press that heel into the mat, kind of drag it in. You can sit down as much or as little as you need. Again, maybe you check out 
your different hamstrings by moving your foot around and just finding that sweet spot. Left foot plants, toe heel your left foot to the edge of your mat, hands are inside of your left foot. Again, maybe you might need to scoot your right knee about back, then come into lizard pose on this side. Again, choosing whatever variation that you need today. Take another round of breath. Again, same thing. If you planted your elbows, come on back up. Toe heel your left foot back to center. Right hand plants, right knee lifts, left arm to the sky. Runner's lunge twist. Left hand plants. Step back, downward facing dog. Again, stay here or inhale your high plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. All right, we're gonna kind of keep adding to our sequence and class today. So follow along. Inhale, right leg up, bend. Open your hip, this time take big knee circles, like you're stirring some soup, couple one way, and then the other. Straighten your right leg, step it through, ground down, strong, solid foundation. Inhale, high crescent lunge. You're high on the toes of your left foot. Inhale here, and then exhale, open arm twist. Right arm behind us, left arm front. Gazing back at your right thumb. Inhale, back to a neutral spine. Hands plant, and just straighten your right leg. Breathing into our hamstring here, and a Slightly different variation than our half splits on the ground. Begin to bend into your right knee. Step it back, tear down dog. Again, stay here or take your vinyasa flow. Once you reach your down dog, Left leg to the sky, bend open your hip. Take big circles with your knee, one way and then the other. Straighten your left leg, step it through, rise, high crescent lunge. Bending through our left knee on the toes of our right foot. Shoulders out of ears. Inhale, exhale, open arm twist. Left arm back, right arm forward. Inhale, back to center. Hands plant, straighten through your left leg. Breathing into this back of our left leg. Okay. Head hangs heavy. Start to bend into your left leg. Step it back, down dog. Stay here or take your vinyasa flow. Remember, any and all flows are optional. Once you reach your down dog, take one full cycle of breath. 
straight leg lifts, bend open, stay, or flip your dog. You flip your dog, maybe you cactus your right arm out, coming into your chest a little bit. Flippers, come on back around. Step your right foot through, rise, high crescent lunge. We'll be here a lot today. Inhale your hands to heart center and exhale, twist. Left elbow over right knee. Come into a different variation of a twist. And stay here with your hands at prayer center or you can spread them. Gazing up at your hand if that feels okay for your neck. Inhale, unwind, come back to center. All right, our right leg's got us. We're gonna pour our weight into our right leg and lift our back leg up, coming into our warrior three. Wobbles welcome and good. Body's in the shape of a T, left foot is flexed, hips square. Start to bend into your right knee. Come back to your high crescent lunge. Hands plant. Take your vinyasa flow. Take a round of breath once you hit your down dog. Left leg lifts. Bend open. Stay or flip it. Again, if you flipped, maybe cactus your left arm. Come back through, three-legged dog. Step your left foot through, rise, high crescent lunge. Right hip is going forward, left hip is coming back a bit. Inhale your hands to the heart center and twist. Right elbow, outside of left leg. Again, your arms can stay in prayer. Or spread your wings. Unwind, coming back through our crescent lunge. Get firm through your left foot. Spring off your right. Warrior three. If you all fall, get right back into it, no worries. Start to bend through your left knee. Step back to your high crescent lunge. Hands plant, take your vinyasa flow. Hermes and down dog. Take a breath once you hit your down dog. Right foot to the sky, bend open, stay, or you can flip your dog here. If you flipped, come on back around, straighten your right leg, step it through, you know where we're going. Rise, high crescent lunge. Weight into our right foot. Spring off our left toes. Warrior three. From here, start to bend into your right knee. We're gonna open up to warrior two. Flip your palm. Reverse your warrior. Breathing through our right side body. Hands plant to the mat and take your flow. Run around a breath in your down dog. Left leg lifts, bend open, stay, flip your dog. Flip your dog, come back around, three-legged dog. Step your left foot through, rise. High crescent lunge. 
Ground down through your left foot, spring off. Warrior three. You can always point your hands to the ground too for extra support. Start to bend through your left knee and land into your warrior two. If you fall out, get right back in. Flip your palm, reverse your warrior. Come back through warrior two, plant your hands and take your vinyasa flow. One round of breath here and your down dog. Right leg lifts, bend and open. Keep your left, right knee bent, bring it to your tricep, right knee to your right tricep. Three legged dog. Right knee to left elbow. Three legged dog. Knee to nose, squeeze it in, hold it. Step your right foot down, rise, high crescent lunge. Take your breath here and push off into our warrior three. Start to bend through your right leg and land into your warrior two. Flip your palm, reverse your warrior. Come back to your warrior two. Hold, strong, powerful warrior. Extended side angle, right arm down, left arm starts up to the sky and stay here, or can reach to the front of the room. Make sure you're not collapsing in your right arm. Left foot is sealed. Can stay here, take a half a full bind. Come back through the warrior two. Straighten your right leg. Pivot your toes to face the wide side of your mat. Clasp your hands behind your back. Inhale, lift your collarbones. Exhale, forward fold. Your head hang heavy. Your hands can come off your back any amount. And that includes no amount. Release your bind. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. If you like, you can grab your big toes with your peace fingers. Take that bind and fold over. If headstand or another inversion is in your practice, feel free to take it here. You took an inversion, start to make your way back down. If you have the toe grip like I do, you can release that for a soft bend in your knees. Hands come to your hips and slowly rise up. Face your toes to the front of the mat. Step your left toe to meet your right. Inhale, high mountain. Forward fold, halfway lift, take your vinyasa flow. Once you hit down dog, take a full cycle of breath. Left leg lifts, bend, open your hip, keep your leg bent, left knee to left tricep. Three-legged dog, left knee to right tricep, three-legged dog, left knee to nose, hug it in, squeeze, step it through, high crescent lunge. Grounding down through our left toes and springing up off our right into our warrior three.
Start to bend through your left leg and land your warrior two. Flip your palm, reverse your warrior. Come back to warrior two, hold it for a breath, and then extended side angle, left arm down, right arm up, you can reach towards the front of the room. Take a half or full bind. Come back to your warrior two. Straighten your left leg. Pivot to face the other side of your mat. Take a different bind, reverse on stay, opposite elbows. Inhale, lift your collarbone. And exhale, forward fold. Whatever bind you have, release your hands to the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Turn your left toes out a bit and start to sink into your left leg. Right heel, right toes pop up, coming into our skandasana, or our side lunge, breathing in through the inner right thigh. If it feels okay, maybe your hands come to heart center. And then take a twist, left arm down, right arm to the sky. Come back with your hands heart center. Of course, you can always use your hands, but for an extra challenge, if you like, keep your hands where they are. And use the strength of your legs to come on up and go on over to the other side. Left toes pop up, bending through our right leg. Stay here, your hands can be down. Take a twist, right hand down, left arm up. Took the twist, hands come back to center. Again, you can use your hands or for an extra challenge, use the strength of your legs to come on back to the center and forward fold. Let it all go. Just soft bend into your knees, hands to your hips. Come on up to standing. Toes face the front of the mat. Right toes to meet your left. Inhale. High mountain, give it away, and take your vinyasa flow. Take a breath, once you reach your downward facing dog. All right, last sequence with our crescent lunge. Inhale, right leg up. Bend, open your hip, straighten your right leg, step it through, high crescent lunge. Putting the weight into our right foot, spring up into our warrior three, noticing if our balance gets better or worse each time. For our warrior three, this time we're gonna bring our left knee into standing crane, cross our left ankle over our right thigh, and sit down into our standing pigeon, figure four. Left toes are flexed, breathing into our outer left hip. Check in on your toes, make sure you're not gripping anything. Come back through our crane. Take our left foot to our tree. You can place it to your thigh, kickstand, or your calf. Hands come to heart center. And then grow your tree. Maybe your gaze lifts. Inhale your hands back through heart center. Release your left foot. 
Release your hands, mountain pose. Shrug your shoulders up, back and down. Maybe shake out your legs. We've been using them a lot. Inhale your arms up, forward fold. Take your vinyasa flow. This time left leg goes up, bend open your hip. Straighten your left leg, step through, high crescent lunge. Spring off your right toes, warrior three. Fall out of it, again, no worries, like I just did. Start to hug your right leg in, coming to our standing crane. Right ankle crosses over our left thigh. Sit down into our standing figure four. Breathing into the outside of our right hip. Come back through, standing crane. And then place your right foot on your inner left foot, leg somewhere. Coming into our tree. Again, falling out is all good. Hands begin at heart center, grow your roots, and then choose your hand position. Could be the different, different or the same. Wherever you are, bring your hands back through heart center, drop your right foot, inhale your arms up, bring them through heart center, Mountain pose. Close your eyes for a moment. Feel your feet grounded into the earth. Check in on yourself. Crack your eyes open. Inhale your arms up. This time grab your left wrist with your right hand and just lean over to the right. Feel our left side body. Left foot presses down. Come back to center. Switch it up. Grab your right wrist and lean over to the left. Come back to center. Swan dive forward. Halfway lift and take your vinyasa flow. Take a breath in your down dog. Inhale, rise your tippy toes. Take those teeny tiny steps up to meet your hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Toe heel your feet a little wider. Maybe your toes are hanging off the edge of the mat while your heels are on them. And sit down into your yogi squat. Hands come to center. Nice, tall, straight back body. You can stay here. You can take a twist, right arm down, left hand to the sky. Come back to center, take a breath, and then left hand down, right arm up. Come back to center, hands plant, hips to the sky, toe peel your feet back together. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, fold. Rise, draw a chair pose. Bring your hands into heart center. Rise under your toes and just slowly, carefully sit down into our toes pose. Knees are together and as gracefully as possible. You can always use your hands. You're gonna sit back and land into our high boat. 
wiggling and wobbling. Again, all good. High boat. Heels can be down, they can be lifted. Knees bent, you can always support yourself with your hands, whatever you need here. Toes are flexed, heart shines open. Holding, breathing, navel into spine. Low boat, sacrum on the mat, feet flexed. Five, four, three, two, one. High boat. Hold for five, four, three, two, one. Low boat. Hold for five, four, three, two, one. Last time, high boat. Five, four, three, two, one. Low boat. Five, four, three, two, one. Release to the mat. Hands clasp over your head. Full body stretch. Point, flex your toes, arch your back. I'm gonna feel good here. Setting up for our bridge pose. Feet come in, maybe you tickle the back of your heels with your fingers. Feet hip distance, arms along beside you. Inhale, lift your hips. Bring your shoulders closer together. Maybe you clasp your hands underneath your back. If you want to take a restorative bridge, you can always do that as well with a cushion or block under your sacrum. Breathe. You have a block, squeezing between your thighs. And release. Knees, not, feet go wide, knees knock together. Constructive rest for a moment. You can set up for bridge again, or if full wheel is in your practice, then feel free to take that. You're taking full wheel. Hands go beside your ears, wherever you are, inhale, lift up, breathing, for five, four, three, two, one, if you're in full wheel, tuck your chin, slowly come down, one vertebrae at a time, construct your breast, knees knock in, feet go wide. You place one hand on your belly, one hand at your heart. Recline butterfly, soles of the feet come together, knees fully out wide. Check in with your body, how's it feeling? Reconnecting with your breath, if it got lost or ragged along our, our journey so far. Bring your knees together, give yourself a nice big hug. And here we're gonna set up for pigeon, so if you know that you like to take pigeon on your back, figure four, we'll just cross your right angle over your left leg. Otherwise, you're going to take traditional pigeon, rock and roll the length of your spine, cross over, come through your down dog. Right leg will lift, and then step it through, right knee behind your right wrist. Start with a nice, tall, straight back. Inch your left leg back if you need to. Inhale, and if you choose, Exhale, forward fold. If you find that you're sinking into your right hip or your left, the block is always really helpful here. You can slide it under your right hip or knee.
breathe in this pose, sending any extra breath or sensations you might be feeling. Forward fold, come on back up. It's an option to bend your left knee. Left hand can come around, grab your right left foot, bring it in for a quad stretch. I would just energetically think about it, or if you have a strap, that can be nice here. Just took that quad stretch, release it, step back, down dog. Pedal out your legs, get some blood flowing. You like to take a final flow, here's your chance. Inhale to your high push up, chaturanga, up dog, and down dog. If you're on your back, take it in figure four, just switch legs. Otherwise, if you're taking traditional pigeon, left leg up, step it through. Start with a nice tall back, checking in with your back leg, make sure it's straight behind you. And if you choose, forward fold. Check in with your face here. Are you clenching your jaw or are you furrowing your brow? Like, oh, when will this end? Relax your face, unclench your jaw, wiggle it around. Find ease in your effort. If you're in traditional pigeon and took that forward fold, start to come on back up. Same option applies here. If you want to take that quad stretch, right leg comes in, grab the outside of your right ankle with your right hand. Just think about bringing your right foot towards your seat. If you can't make the connection. And release. We are all going to me and our comfort and on our seats, excuse me, feet come out in front of us, hands plant behind us, fingers face in, inhale, reverse tabletop, head can lean back, and come on back down, and take a wide leg forward fold, so bring your Legs out and just a straddle, wiggle around, and then just forward fold. Feet are flexed, knees still facing towards the sky. Doesn't matter how far you go, maybe you put a block under your head. The forehead may reach the ground, maybe over two inches, doesn't matter. Let's just breathe through our inner legs. Come on back up, keep your right leg as it is. Bring your left foot into your right thigh. Square your chest over your right leg. Inhale your arms up and exhale, fold. Your hands may be grabbing your foot, it might be at your calf, doesn't matter. Inhale, sit back up. Keep your legs exactly as they are. Move so you can see me. This time, 
right hand will come to the inside of your right leg and left arm is going to reach over. So we're breathing into our left side body here. And you might be like me and your left hand's a million miles away from your right foot. That's all good. We just we don't want to collapse. We're going to keep our chest lifted. Then come up, left hand plants, lift up into our rainbow pose, joy pose, circle your arm a couple times, and release, and switch legs, left leg goes long, right foot comes in, to start, square our chest over our left leg, inhale our arms up, and exhale, fold. Inhale, come on back up. And this time again, we're going to take the side body stretch. So left arm comes down, right arm comes over. Chest is lifted. Left foot is flexed. Right hand plants, lift up for our rainbow pose. Again, you can circle your arm. Sit back down, legs go wide, long in front of us, maybe move any extra flesh out of the way. Inhale, arms up, and exhale, forward fold. Have your knees bent, you have a strap here. Make the forward fold work for you, not the other way around. back up. Soles of the feet come together. Clasp your hands around them. Inhale, tall spine. Exhale, forward fold. You can keep a flat back for as long as you can. And then when you can't hinge anymore, feel free to round your back and take it more of a passive pose. Come on up, straighten your legs once again. This time our right knee will step, oh, our right leg will step over our left. Right hand comes behind us. Inhale, left arm goes tall. And twist, left elbow outside our right knee. Twisting, bringing it all out. So a different variation of our twist. You may have noticed from our open arm twist to our crescent lunge twist to now here. Inhale back to center. We roll over to your left, counter twist for a moment. Come back to center. Right leg goes long. Left leg comes in. Left arm kicks hands behind you. Right arm up. And twist. Back through center, take a counter twist to your right. Come back to center, both legs go along in front of you. Slowly roll all the way down to your back. Knees hug in for a moment. Keep your right knee in, left leg goes along in front of you. Right knee towards your right armpit, one relieving pose. Take a couple breaths here. Both feet are flexed. And take your left hand to your right knee and twist it over. Right arm to goal post or to a T. One final twist. Center and switch legs. Right leg goes long, 
Left knee squeezes in towards your armpit. Right knee, right hand to your left knee, excuse me. Then cross it over, left arm out, and twist. center, squeeze both knees in, then lift them to the straight arm to the sky, legs up the wall, letting the blood flow reverse, giving our feet a little break for all they do for us. And stay right here or if plows in your practice, feel free to take your feet over your head. If you want to move into shoulder stand, you can feel free to do that as well. If you're taking plow or shoulder stand, be mindful of your neck, gaze it straight up. Wherever you are, slowly lower your legs. One final full body extension, hands clasped over your head, get long. And then release into your Shavasana. Your feet are a little bit wide, toes are turned out, heels turned in. Palms are facing up, whatever feels good for you here. Take your hair out of your ponytail. Just rest and absorb your practice. Start scanning your body from your littlest pinky toe. And journey through your ankles, your shins, your calf, your knees, thighs. Just noticing how each body part feels. Is it less sticky? Is it less stuck? Maybe there's still some tension. That's okay. Just notice how you feel, taking time. Feel free to stay in Shavasana as long as you like. Otherwise, if you're ready, begin to make small movements with your fingers and toes, your wrists, your ankles, getting any final cracks, snaffles, and bobs out. Hug your knees in, give yourself a little squeeze. Roll over to either side and press up into your comfortable seat. Maybe keep your eyes closed the whole time. Hands pressed on your knees. Thank you for spending 60 minutes of your day with me. And thank yourself for taking these 60 minutes for you to move, to breathe, to connect with yourself everything that's going on in the outside world. Inhale your arm, hands above and through heart center. Have your thumbs rest on your sternum. As always, it's a privilege and an honor to guide you. Thumbs to third eye center. The light in me is a reflection of the light I see in each and every one of you. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me at class today. Remember to give my YouTube channel a subscribe button and I'll see you next time. Thanks.
Thanks so much.